Very far from Astro Boy's house is the house of Happy Klaus, the toy maker. But Happy Klaus is not very happy today. He's expecting a visitor, a visitor with sad news. Come in. Mr. Klaus? Come in, come in. Allow me to introduce myself. Mr. I am Greedy of the Green and Greedy department stores. Hmm. Have some coffee? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your papa very well. Ah, but he retired last year and I'm taking over. Now about updating these old toys of yours. Just one minute. Huh? Who says my toys have to be updated? I was making toys long before you were born. I know what children like and I make what they like. Good toys made with good workmanship and lots of love. But statistics prove otherwise, old man. This is what sells. And this, toys of the future, toys of destruction. Toys without love. And you want me to use my talent for a chunk like that? If you can. I can make it for you, all right. Here, you take this. My last sensible, laughable doll. Take it and go. If it's bad toys you want, I will make the best of the worst. That's the spirit. Good day, Mr. Klaus. Woe is me. should do it. Just what people want. The strongest, most destructive force that can fly through the air or go underground. What else but the devil? Now let's see you in action. Fly, Mr. Devil! <laughs> Don't set my place on fire! What a terrible toy. But if that's what people want, I will give them the best. In fact, you will be like no other devil ever made. Complete with a super duper electronic brain that will allow you to think and talk for yourself. Wait! <laughs> Relax, Fatso. I am truly at your service. Name the riches you desire. I will get them for you. Please, I want nothing. What else are devils for? After all, you gave me life. I'll prove my worth. That won't be necessary, you little groot. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, fatso. When I get going, there's no stopping me. Of course, I'm grateful to you for raising a little devil like me. But once I pay you back, the world is mine. So long for now. Read, read. creatures like me, and the things which we have created, like robots and toys. Oh, 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 some are vicious. Oh, my poor nose. Ha! But Dr. Elephant, some toys are beautiful. Beautiful they may be, but they're not people. Why? Because they have no heart. Yay! Oh, let me out of here. Oh. Come on. We gotta catch up with Dr. Elephant. Not that way. Come on, stop fooling around, sis. Huh? You can't catch me. You just stop this nonsense. This is no place to play games, and you know it. And you know it. And you know it. You just 
位。Going on. We're staying here tonight. Hooray! We stay and stay on the Titan. Oh my! Look at all those dolls. You're a pretty one, and so are you. I'm going to wind this one up, and this one, you too. There we are. Now all together. Who are you? 
He's got no name because nobody wants him, not even the toy maker. The toy maker does so like me. At least he did. Oh, don't feel too bad, little fellow. We all have to find new owners anyway. I'm afraid no one will ever want me. Come on! Everybody dance! Ha ha! One, two, three, four, let's dance! boy, and we've got you covered from every direction. So don't try to fight your way out or something just might happen to you and your sister. Huh? Then you've got her. <coughs> don't worry, sis. I'm here. That's right. And you will stay right here while we do our job. Get the money and the jewels. anybody, see? One false move and I'll fire. Oh, well, 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 we weren't going anywhere, honest. That's more like it, Cowboy Pete. For those of you who don't know me, I'm called Trigger Finger Charlie, so watch your step. If you've got any complaints, take it up with my boss. I'm only carrying out my orders. So get them hands up and keep them up. <laughs> get him! First I'll get you out of harm's way. This will keep you safe. Now let's go, go, go! Uh... <laughs> 
Understand what this is all about? They're jewels, old man. Millions of dollars <gasps> worth. And they're all for you, aren't they pretty? I told you I would show my appreciation for your giving me a oh. super duper electronic brain. As you can see, I put it to very good use. <laughs> but I don't want your stolen jewels. Why, oh, why did I create such a perfect devil? I'll tell you something. I'm really not such a bad guy, but my boss gave me this here electronic brain, see? Just who is your boss? My boss is, well, speak of the devil. I was just talking about you, boss. All of you are under arrest! <laughs> if Astro Boy couldn't stop us, what makes you think you can? What's this? Another jewel? <laughs> Nothing but a miserable teardrop. Take that! Don't cry, dear. Everyone stay here and be quiet. <coughs> hey! I'll get the gun. No! Oh, you put me down. Put me down. Oh, please put me down. There he is. Yep, that's Astro Boy, all right. But, but what's, what's wrong, wrong with him? him? Is there a doctor doll in the house? We must operate. His electronic brain cell has been destroyed. And all we have to do is replace it. But all the electronic brains are being used by us toys. Who will give up theirs? Here's mine. It won't work. Astro Boy needs a super-duper electronic brain. And yours are only regular. There's only one more super-duper electronic brain that I know of, and that belongs to my boss. There's no question. We've got to get it. There's the boss. You're right. I've got me a good plan to trap that there mink-coated monster. You two turn on the electricity when I maneuver the boss over there by the elevators. Right. All right, you bombin', I'm taking you in. Don't make me laugh, little man. You better believe I mean it, sir. Ma'am? Hey, old silver plate! How could I have missed him? We can't let that fool get away. I'll get him yet. Now it's our turn. Let's go. Come on, little shepherd. Climb up. It's hard. Yay! How 
can I ever express my thanks? Shucks, we're glad we got rid of that mink-coated boss lady. But what about the devil? He was the one controlling the mannequin. He sure was. All right, let's go, go, go. Where else would one look for a devil? But near a fiery furnace. Mr. Devil, show yourself. <laughs> Why should I? Because I mean to put an end to your mischief once and for all. <laughs> That's not very nice when I was just going to offer you a partnership. Why, with your power and my brains, we could own the world. <laughs> half would be yours, half mine. I absolutely refuse. Then I must destroy you now. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the furnace. <laughs> go, go, go! So, if we can't bring Astro Boy to the furnace, we'll bring the furnace to Astro Boy! <laughs> And so, early the next morning, Happy Klaus the Toymaker has another visitor. Yes? Who's bothering me at this hour? I have a surprise for you, Mr. Klaus. Huh? Do you recognize these? They look like they belong here. Oh, my wonderful toy. I promise I will never make bad toys again. Never. <laughs> 